This is one of those times it'd be nice to have my bride out here helping. Happy Father's Day, y'all. Number five. Number five, since my daddy left me. And you know, they say that people going home to their heavenly reward is a good thing. And it is. I know my daddy made it to heaven. If my daddy didn't make it to heaven, this old boy ain't got a chance. But it's only one problem. When your parents leave you and go to heaven, they leave you here. Some folks may look forward to that. Boy, I can't wait them people get out of my life, start, stop telling me what to do. I'm not one of them folks. I miss my daddy as much as if I'd cut off my right arm. But I can't do nothing about it. Can't do a thing world about it. But I went to church this morning. It wasn't easy. But I did what dad would have done. <laughs> Put one foot in front of the other and kept on going. And I got home and tried to rest some. Everything just rolled around my head. And uh, you see, I'm on my tractor. Ordinarily, I don't do any type of work like this on Sunday, but I just had to do something. I had to, had to get my mind off things. So I thought, well, heck, I just go out there and I'll put them disc plows on the Ford, and I'll get this pasture restoration underway. I had, uh, I think in one of my vlogs, I talked about I was going to do this, I think. But uh, the old pasture here is old. And um, it's in uh, dire need of some uh, rehab. <laughs> if Betty Ford had a pasture rehab clinic, I would send this pasture to her. I mean, it's in pretty foul shape. So in my uh, uh, shoestring budget type way, I'm gonna try to do some uh, restoration on my little pasture. This pasture has been in my family for, y'all know, a long time. And at one time it was a field. They they grew corn and cotton out here. Had terraces on it. And uh, back, <laughs> you know, I don't wanna know when it happened, but I'm gonna say at least 50 years ago, uh, Bud Reese taught my granddaddy into tearing down the, uh, 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 oh shoot, what did they call Terraces and planting in fescue. And, and Bud used it for his, uh, hayfield and uh, so as far as i know i mean my granddaddy had it for the last few times but it's never been reseeded and uh you know i've had goats on it now for 20 years 15 at least and uh, so uh, this this uh this spring i'm gonna try to do some work to it now they're hollering on the the weather that we're up to maybe two to three inches of rain this coming week starting early in the morning so, you know, I feel the first thing that should be done is this, this pasture needs to be aerated because it's just compacted and uh, when it does rain, it runs off. And I looked and tried to find somebody that had a, an aerator that I could hook up my three-point hitch on my Ford. Nobody had one. So I was talking to my good buddy, David, and he said, well, you got that disc plow, Jeff, just use it. And I thought, well, that's an idea. So here I am. So I'm fixing to jump off the seat here and grab this phone and uh, show y'all what's going on. And um, get my Father's Day over with. You know, I was talking to a guy today at church about Father's Day. His daddy got killed years and years and years ago. I just barely do remember it. But a guy worked at a little filling station down there, a little gas station that's going Woodstock. And I think it was a spur, S-P-U-R. He was robbed several times. My dad told me about one time they robbed him and they took him in the woods behind the little filling station and to keep him from calling the law, they tied him up to a tree with the only thing they had, barbed wire. And as they started to leave him, he said, hey, I'm gonna freeze death. He didn't have a coat on. He said, I'll freeze death out here if y'all don't do something for me. And so one of them took his coat off, the, the, the thief took his coat off and draped, him, draped it over his shoulders, over Guy's shoulders. And that's what kept Guy from freezing to death that night. But his son, Ricky, was telling me today that he got killed 
the night before his 65th birthday. And when I think of how I mope and carry on and cry about me losing my daddy, and then I look at what Ricky and all his siblings had to go through losing their daddy sens senselessly, I mean, just murdered. And then I got another good buddy, Scott. I've talked about him before. I've done some fishing with him. His dad uh, was in a, got hit by a car. He was in traffic, uh, trying to cross the road and got hit by a car. Ended up nine on the operating table. I just, I just think about folks that's gone through so much more than me. And, you know, Scott told me, he said, Jeff, you know, you were blessed. You got to be friends with your dad. He said, I never, I never got to be friends with my dad. He didn't live long enough for that. So if y'all hear me moping, crying, and blubbering about that, just overlook me and realize that these folks out there that's lost a lot more than I lost because they didn't get the chance to, uh, to connect with their dad the way I did. Enough of that. Let's look at the ground. So, here we are with the Ford 2000. 30 horsepower, gas, power steering. And on the back, we have the bushing bog, the disc plow with extra ballast. <laughs> hey, I told you, shoestring budget, that's me. It took me a few passes to finally get those discs to run straight-ish. I can't get them completely straight, but I've got them straight-ish. And it's doing a pretty good job. See, like, well, like I said, I just wanna bust this up a little bit so that the rain water just don't go washing off downhill there. <clears throat> and uh, and at the same time, I have a little bit of fescue in here with some seeds on it. So I'm hoping maybe, you know, me running over it and uh, stuff like that will actually do a little reseeding job maybe. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, down here is where I was trying to get those discs to straighten up. <laughs> Yeah, I did a little bit of turning down here, but that's all right. If you notice, I started where it's nice and flat. <laughs> so, but you can just see how dry this dirt is. I mean, and uh, you know, my, my, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, my root bed doesn't go very deep at all. So I've got to, I got to get some aeration in here. I'm gonna have to get some lime. I'm sure I gotta get my soil checked. We understand that the county can handle that for me for a fee of ten dollars i got a bumper crop of uh broom straw i mean bumper crop of broom straw and uh, that's a uh, uh, way i understand it that is a prime uh uh indication that you need to lime your soil and, and i don't doubt that a bit so and i'm also going to try to get some type of reseeding uh mix that are that's kind of goat friendly uh you know they have all kinds of stuff with lagoons and clovers and stuff like that I'm gonna try to do that and possibly rent a seed drill to do all that with next spring of course i got a lot of stuff i'm banking on uh i gotta have a surgery on my hand i messed it up a couple of years ago maybe 10 and i've re-injured it uh, the doctor said, just going to have to either learn to live with the pain, not, I'm tired of living with the pain, I'm going to have to have some surgery. So, uh, looks like I'll be having some surgery this fall after all the, the cool stuff in the yard is done. And this over here, if y'all ever watched my channel, you'll know this is my uh, uh, goldenrod field, <laughs> which um, I don't intend on having this next year. Uh, I see some milkweed. You see them pretty orange blooms over there? That's milkweed of some sort. There's some more down there. Yeah, I was down there working on that fence line when I hurt my hand again, when I hurt my wrist again. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not bulletproof anymore. So anyway, but yeah, that that's the plan. This this main pasture right here, what did you say? There's two acres here probably, maybe, acre and a half. Get this uh, prepped for um, rainfall, which... Uh, is on its way uh i hope <laughs> so uh but we're gonna do that i'm gonna get out here and, with old blue up there on the corner old blue and uh, do a little bit of disking and chopping this up get it where it'll soak up the 
hopefully two inches or more rain we're supposed to receive this week. I figure if they're saying two inches, we might get an inch to three quarters. I mean, uh, a half inch to three quarters an inch. So here's a couple of beehives down here. You, them old girls are hot there. They probably won't like it. I'm bringing that tractor too close. And here's some more over here. This is definitely a one pass chop. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get this crap out of the way in front of it. And this right here is a split that I had made earlier this year. Well, not earlier this year, but a month ago, I guess. Uh, last time I peeked in there, everything was just going hunky-dory. So anyhow, I just thought I'd make a little, little video. Uh, this is right here is gonna be Pastor Restoration Part One. And it's being filmed on, let's see this, I can't see. 18th, 16th, I don't know. Father's Day, 2023, June. I guess uh, I need to have my glasses on that I can make me see stuff better. So anyway, I'm going to jump on old blue here and do some more. So uh, happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. And I uh, hope you have a good one. Oh, please like this video. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have several. And uh, I'll need all the likes I can get so I can get some good viewership on it. I'm uh, I'm trying to make it to a thousand subscribers. So if you want to subscribe, that'd be fine too. But uh, you know, but yeah, I like it that way. It'll get shared around some. Thank you very much, Jeff. You know. Honeybees didn't bother me. Okay, so there you have it. I'm really very pleased with how it turned out. And uh, I really hope that it's beneficial. I hope what I'm doing is gonna benefit me and not turn around and bite me in the hinder parts. But You can definitely see the, the rows that I made. I finally got that uh, disc plow disking straight. And uh, it, I'm, I'm very impressed. Did not get stung yet. Just gonna give y'all a once over here. Give you the once over. I don't know. I've been out here for an hour or so, I guess, something like that. Just like I said, mainly I had to get out of the house. I had to do something. I was just in there thinking about too much stuff. Now, this down here was hard. Let me zoom it out. Yeah, this did not cut like the rest of it. I mean, you can see, like right here. I mean, it did mark it. 
but not like the rest of it. I mean, that up there was much softer than this down here. So, uh, I, um, I might wait. If it rains tomorrow, I might come down here and do it again. I don't know. I mean, I was able to score it pretty good, but not, not like the rest of it did. So anyhow, that is the end of the day. I'm going to go in the house, lounge around for a while. Jeff Eubanks, The Simple Life. Remember, people, all you got to do is have a measure of faith. That has something to do with our vacation Bible schools coming up. Bye-bye.